Hey what's up guys I'm back with a brand new speed test it's time to do a check out the performance of the Galaxy A33 5G against the Poco F3 and the Poco F3 has a Snapdragon 870 SoC with 8 GB of RAM while the Samsung has a Exynos 1280 SoC with 8 GB of RAM on the back we have triple cameras on the Poco versus the quad cameras on the Samsung and both phones has a 48 megapixel main camera but we have optical image separation on the Samsung. Both phones also has a 8 megapixel draw wide. We also have a 5 megapixel macro on both phones with autofocus on the Poco, not available on the Samsung. Also, we have 2 megapixels, which is a depth sensor. And the back of the Poco F3 is made up of glass, while the Samsung has a plastic back. And the frame of the Poco F3 again is made up of aluminium, while the Samsung has a plastic frame. And the frame of the A33 5G is more flat which gives a more premium feel over the Poco F3 also we have in display fingerprint scanner on the Samsung versus a side fingerprint scanner on the Poco F3 on the bottom no headphone jack on both DC devices and both phones also has a dual speaker so I am really really excited to see that how is the Exynos 1280 it's gonna stack up against the Snapdragon 870 inside the Poco F3 so without any wasting time let's get right into it now let's quickly boot both of these phones up at the same time. Here we go. Logo is came up first on the Samsung. And both phones is running on Android 12. We have One UI 4.1 versus Mi UI 13. Let's use faster. Poco F3 or the Samsung and the Poco F3 is more faster when it comes to booting up and now the A30 also right behind there we have a 2 or 4 second difference between these devices when it comes to booting up now let's talk about the displays between these devices on the Samsung we have 6.4 inch Full HD Plus Super AMOLED display with 90 Hz refresh rate while on the Poco F3 we have 6.67 inch Full HD Plus AMOLED display with 120 Hz refresh rate and also we have punch hole on the Poco versus a U-shaped notch on the Samsung which looks outdated and the bezels it is more smaller on the Poco F3 as you can see everything is closed up in the background no application is running in the background now let's start off with the phone dialer that is very similar so next on the list is the settings that is also very similar now let's go to the display we have 90 Hz refresh rate versus a 120 Hz so now check out some more application now let's start off with the Amazon shopping same Wi-Fi network on both phones Snapdragon 870 versus Exynos 1280 a little more faster on the Poco F3 now let's see scrolling that is face really really smooth on both phones not a huge difference between 90 Hz and 120 Hz but obviously more smoother on the Poco now let's open this faster on the Poco as you can see and again no lag whatsoever on both phones now check out some games application now let's start off with the Candy Crush Sega faster on the Poco F3 and you can see let me show the speakers Poco F3 with max volume here is the A33 5G As a speaker I would say it is more louder on the Poco F3 has a more bass in their speakers Instagram similar let's see pin out same result faster on the Poco and you can see and the Snapdragon 870 is showing its performance in every single application now let's open snapchat very similar Spotify similar Let's see subwoofer and the Snapdragon 870 is showing its performance more in the games app load time and you can see this time we have a more second difference now let's see Temper and 2 and Exynos 1280 it is not really optimized SOC again F3 is done a33 also right behind there we have a two or three second difference now let's see pubg mobile 
let's see who is faster exynos 1280 versus a snapdragon 870 F3 is faster there, you can see again we have a 2 or 3 second difference. Also we have smooth graphics with ultra frame rate versus a smooth graphics with extreme frame rate. Now let's opening up the tutor, very similar, Zedge, let it move faster on the Poco, A33 is taking a lot of time, let's see the scrolling again, no lag whatsoever on both phones. But if I see very closely, yes, the Poco F3 is a tiny bit more smoother. So last time I'm launching the cameras on both phones, default camera application. Let's see who is going to be the fastest one. Poco F3 is a tiny bit more faster in terms of the camera performance wise. And Samsung is more better. So now let's look at the front facing camera. So here is the front facing camera and the front camera also more better on the A33 5G. Now see internet browsing speed, I am seeing to follow Samsung internet browser on the A33 versus a Google Chrome on the Poco F3. So now let's see Wikipedia, faster on the Poco, let's see the scrolling, very smooth, no lag whatsoever, same thing with zooming in and out. So now let's open this English, this time again the Poco is a tiny bit more faster, scrolling wise, no lag whatsoever. but little more smoother on the Poco. Next on the list is the apple.com and faster on the F3 scrolling wise no lag whatsoever. So now let's check out RAM management on both phones and both phones has a 8 GP of RAM. Let's see which perform good in the RAM management. Phone dialer, settings, Amazon shopping, Candy Crush Saga, Instagram, it's been out, Snapchat, Spotify, Subwoofer, let's see Temper N2, let's see PUBG Mobile, opening up the tutor, Zedge, and last we're back to the internet browser where we left and you can see, and cast over up to say regarding the app's opening speed. As you can see that and the Poco F3 is a more faster phone in some system based application but mostly in the game app during time we have a more second difference in the games in terms of the RAM image wise in that area both phones is performing incredible in the RAM management not a single refresh on both phones also we have 5000 image battery size with a 25 hour fast charging support but we does not get any charger in the box while with the poco f3 we have 4500 mah battery size with a 33 watt fast charger so that's about it and thank you so much for watching this speed test comparison between the galaxy a33 5g versus the poco f3 let me know your thoughts in the comment section below subscribe to my channel for daily tech videos and follow me on instagram and twitter as well and i will catch you in my next video peace out